and it's like really pungent as well. So let's try and see. Essa é jaca manteiga. Tem a outra durinha também. Será provada a durinha também. Hi everyone. So today I came here to a street market and there are many many great things that we can do here. So I'm gonna show you around, give you a little bit of tips and tricks of what you can do here so that you can enjoy to the fullest. market is actually something that you should definitely try at least once in Brazil and especially in Rio so they are all over the city and you can find the list of them I'm gonna put it down here in the comments where they are and what time they are working usually they work between 8 a.m. well actually 6 a.m. until 2 p.m. and they are mostly fruits vegetables fish meat flowers actually anything that is really organic and fresh so it's a great place for you to come try new food try fresh food they will have organic vegan any type of other dietary requirements you might have so you can come here very early or you can come here up to around lunchtime or just after lunch and the time you come will pretty much inform how much you pay for things. So if you come very early in the morning, you'll be probably paying full price for most things because they're really fresh and it's just the beginning of the market. However, if you come after 11, then that's usually when the fair starts to kind of be a little bit more empty and people start to leave. So the vendors might want to do a better price and a better deal for you. And even if you can't get a better deal, perhaps they will put something extra for you, like, okay, you offer another fruit or something else. So I told you that you can buy cheaper around towards the end of the time here. However, when they are actually packing to go away and that if they still have products, that's called Hora da Shepa, which is after 2 p.m. usually, and that's really, really discounted. You probably won't find the nicest fruits and nicest vegetables, but you'll definitely find something that is good and it's really, really cheap. So about negotiating, as I said, most of them will not have the prices on the stall, and that's because they will actually fluctuate. The price will actually fluctuate according to the time of the day. So some of them will have the prices, some not, but just be mindful that negotiating is okay in the street market, so you can just come and bargain for whichever kind of food you're looking for. before we kind of walk around the street market and we try some things it's actually the taste test and that is when the vendors will allow you to try a little bit of their food to, just so you know that if you want to buy it or not many of them do that not for all products but you can definitely see when they are allowing you to try some stuff so now Bruno and I are gonna walk over there and we're gonna try some food and talk a little bit about it and buy some stuff And I saw the jackfruit and the Barbados cherry, I guess that's how it's called in English. And the name in Portuguese is acerola. And those are very, very good fruits. They are super fruits. We can talk about it later on. So then we have jackfruit here. And it's like really pungent as well. So let's try and see. Essa é a jaca manteiga. Tem a outra durinha também. Será provada a durinha também. <laughs> it's actually much much better than I thought I have never tried this is my actual first time try so this is the one that is like a, a the buttery type it's really really buttery and this one okay so this is this this harder uh, variety of it so let's try it on. 
Mm. <laughs> consistency, wood. This is very, it's actually very different. So this one had, had a much more buttery, was smoother and was actually quite chewy. This one is a bit harder, it's a bit stiffer, you can see here. But it's actually quite good. I have never tried it and it's, it's super good actually. You have a big seed inside, so be careful with your teeth. So the jackfruit that you guys just saw me trying, that you talked, it's actually that big one over there. So I don't know if you want to come here. So it's, it's that fruit over there. The smell of it, only when it's not cut, it's really strong. And not really flattering actually, not really good. However, when you open it, it's, it's something like completely different. The smell is, is very good for the smell. You have these bulbs here that you can see here on the on the trays. That is what I tried just now. And the, and the bulbs, they actually are much sweeter and they have a very, very nice texture as well. It's actually quite a, a different texture. It's a, I, I don't know how to explain other than saying buttery and, and it's really really strong and sweet actually. So I, I would strongly recommend you to try this, that was my first time and I really enjoyed it. So maybe it's something good for you as well. The other thing I wanted to talk about is acerola, which is the Barbados cherries and are these kind of red cherries over here. And they are really really great for your health, they have loads of antioxidants. And they also are like very famous here in Brazil, we make juices with them. So it's like a very typical fruit from, for us as well, so you can also get them. is the passion fruit. Usually you need to choose the one that is the most wrinkled instead of the one that looks nicer because the wrinkled one is usually sweeter, riper than the other one. So let's choose it. We are now here right in the middle of the fair and there is this artisanal cheese stand over here by Dona Romilda. She's gonna allow us to taste some of her cheese, as well as like we're gonna get some of the very specific cheese she has here, Brazilian cheese. So let's go and check it out. Mm. So this is actually Parmesan cheese, but it's the one made here, it's artisanal. So let's try it. Ah. It's actually really good. You should definitely try this. Mm. Mm. It tastes like Minas cheese, but like more curated. Is that a word in English? It's like stronger. It's really, really good. Mm. She also has the black parmesan. You have this black coat on top. And it's apparently stronger than the previous one. So let's try this and see. Mm. Yeah. This is a more mature cheese. So if you prefer more mature cheese, you'll like the black one. If you prefer it a bit fresher, not quite fresh though. You prefer the yellow one. She gave me the third type of cheese here. This is another type of cheese called queijo artesanal de Alagoa. It's similar to queijo da canastra. If you guys have know a little bit about Brazilian cheese. So that's one of the good cheeses over here as well. So I'm gonna try this one out. Mm. This is a bit stretchier, very mature, salty, but very, very good as well. Thank you, super good. Jabuticabas. I unfortunately didn't get a lot of the footage for when I actually bought them, but I did take some footage about Jabuticaba and Caju, where you might call it Cashew. And Jabuticaba, I don't think there is a, a name in English, at least I didn't find. If you do know the name for that fruit in English, leave me down in the comments because that was the only fruit today 
that I didn't know what the name in English was. So I bought jabuticaba and cashew, and jabuticaba looks like tiny black grapes. They taste a little bit like grapes, but they also have like the the peel is a bit citric, so it tastes a little bit like a weird mix between a lime and a grape. And cashew actually is really, really good for your health. We usually use it for juice. And in, if you look in the cashew, you will see that there is like kind of a nut or the seed of the cashew right on top of it. And that is what is the cashew nuts that you actually eat. So the reason why it's so expensive is because you need many, many fruits to eat just that, to get only that one little piece. Cashew is really, really great for you to, like for antioxidants. Many of the fruits in Brazil actually are great for antioxidants, which is good for keeping your young and healthy. But also they have all many vitamins, vitamin B6, vitamins uh, A, B, C, everything. So it's, it's quite healthy for you to have a lot of the fruits. So now we've been through the entire street market. We arrived here quite early. We went around, we bought stuff, we talked to the vendors. But now it's about lunchtime and I'm getting quite hungry. So I'm gonna go and do something that all of us cariocas and Brazilian people in general do once they come to the street market, which is actually by a pastel de feira and uh, caldo de cana, which is a sugarcane juice. And this is a staple in all the street fairs. You're gonna find it everywhere. All of them, they're usually at the very beginning or at the very end, sometimes they have in both. In this fair, they will have both ways. and a sugarcane juice and I'm gonna be trying it. Pastel I already know, it's, I personally like it, but I'm gonna be trying the sugarcane juice for the first time, so let's see how it is. Mm. There is not much cheese inside, but let's see. And let's try the sugarcane juice now. It's actually quite good, quite sweet. It reminds me of my childhood when I used to actually have sugarcane itself. I never tried the juice, but I used to have sugarcane when I was a child. So that's actually quite good and surprising. Okay, so I just finished my sugarcane juice and the pastel. And now we're gonna enjoy a little bit on the, the music. One of the reasons why I chose this specific street market to come and to show you guys is that around lunchtime, which is now, they will be having some uh, music, live music going on here, some drinks being served. So you can, after the, the fair, I bought all of these that you guys saw, you can also enjoy a little bit of uh, some live music, some samba, some choro, which is another type of Brazilian music. So you can enjoy over here. One of the things I wanted to mention about the sugar cane, just that I forgot to mention before, is that if you are hangover, you drank a little bit too many caipirinhas on the night before, this is a great medicine for that. It's full of healthy sugars, so it's really great for you to actually recover faster from your hangover. So if by any chance you are feeling a bit down, just make sure to gra grab one of those in the nearest fair whenever you are here in Rio. So now I'm gonna go back there, enjoy the live music into the afternoon, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!